Alright, so what I'll do now is I'll just flick this switch and you'll see that the TGP will go on. Here's where the problem is. Turning this switch off won't send a signal to DCS. See how the TGP didn't work? That's because it's the same as a push button, it's the same as a keyboard. If I held the A button down, you send a signal, but when you release it, there's no signal. So DCS doesn't know to flick the switch to the off position. Now people get around this in a whole bunch of different ways. One of the ways you can do it is have a on-on switch. The problem with that is you require essentially double the amount of these because you'd need two signals for every single switch in the cockpit as opposed to one. I'll show you this awesome community mod that's out there that changes DCS control bindings to allow you to have a two position switch. Five minutes later. You can see that it now knows that if the button's pushed down, it should be on, and if the button's released, it should be off. So it will work as the switch does in the game.